I'm headed to the Mall of America in Minnesota, but shopping is not my main objective. Hi everyone, it's me, Tom. Welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. Today I'm in the state of Minnesota and I'm getting some shopping done at the Mall of America. This is the biggest shopping mall in the United States, in the Western Hemisphere, and it is truly impressive. There is no other word for it. The Mall of America is a whopping 4,870 square feet. It opened in 1992, and there's a little bit of irony there that the Mall of America opened after the Cold War ended, because really nothing would have said, we're the capitalists, more than a building that has six caribou coffees in it. To give you an idea of just how massive this place is, there's an indoor theme park inside the mall. Of course, a lot of people know about the Mall of America, but what I think less people know is that, aside from being a mall, it's also a train station. The Mall of America is served by the Twin Cities Metro Blue Line, which is a light rail line, and uh, the Blue Line goes to downtown Minneapolis. I've seen it before, but I've never been on it, so today we're going to ride the Blue Line from the Mall of America to downtown Minneapolis. Access to the train station is provided inside the mall, which is nice. The escalators are right next to the Sea Life Aquarium. So far, I'm impressed with the modern and clean look of the station. Though my goal today is to ride the light rail, I shot this video in August 2022, so the tracks between the Mall of America and Minneapolis Airport were actually closed for construction. This meant that the first leg of our trip would be on a replacement bus. I figured I should buy my ticket here regardless. Ooh, I'm from Chicago. I know these machines. These machines may look the same as Chicago's, but no machine can produce the absolute bangers that those do. All right, so the blue line normally departs from inside this parking garage, which I think is really weird, but cool. Five years ago when I was here, I actually took some shots of the blue line right here, but today we have to ride a replacement bus service, uh, which will take us to the airport from which the Metro staff person assured me I will be able to get on a blue line train because that's what we came here for today. Our replacement bus didn't leave from inside the parking garage, but from right outside on 24th Avenue. Signage uh, wasn't fantastic, but luckily there was a staff member seated who could point me in the right direction. By the way, I have a video about a major bustitution program scheduled to upload soon, so be sure to subscribe to Trains Are Awesome so you don't miss that. The first three stations on the Blue Line are in Bloomington, Minnesota, and they serve the major industrial area by the airport. Over the summer, this section underwent what Metro Transit called the largest construction project in the history of the Blue Line. Construction included replacing tracks, as well as building a turnaround facility near 30th Avenue Station. But don't worry, this construction ended in August, and as of right now, Blue Line trains are running over the entire line. In just a mere five minutes, we've made it to the Terminal 2 station at Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. We even get the luxury of a cross-platform transfer. But the constant ringing of the crossings kind of took away that sense of luxury. Maybe I'm wrong here, but if the bells never turn off, isn't it less safe? I mean, how am I supposed to know when this giant metal object is going to move? 
By the way, this giant metal object has a name, and it's Bombardier Flexity. It's going to take us to Target Field. Before we go though, let's talk about the interior of this train. The yellow and blue color choice is bold. Add the plastic seats to the mix, and you know what this reminds me of? Little tykes. The vehicles themselves have a somewhat unusual design. There are two large sections with one tiny section in between. On a positive note, these cars have designated wheelchair space in the low level section as well as bike racks. I appreciate that American light rail vehicles tend to have bike racks. Time to go. Our first stop will be Terminal 1 of the airport, which is located underground. Rides between the two terminals are actually free, and during the night, when the rest of the line is shut down, trains continue to run as a shuttle service between the two terminals. Combining a mass transit line with a free 24-hour airport shuttle is a pretty great idea in my opinion. Now that we've got the inter-terminal section out of the way, let's talk about the rest of the line. The blue line is 12 miles long with 19 stations. It opened in 2004 and is one of two light rail lines in Minneapolis, the other being the green line, which I will talk about in just a moment. This is a major transfer point. I don't know, maybe my humor is broken, but I thought that was a funny way of not having to list all the different bus connections. An interesting feature about these light rail vehicles is that they have both a train horn as well as the more classic streetcar bells, and this next video clip actually demonstrates both of those. Right before US Bank Stadium Station, we join the Green Line, and the two lines share tracks until the terminus of Target Field. The Green Line connects downtown Minneapolis with downtown St. Paul, the other twin city on the opposite side of the Mississippi River and the state capital of Minnesota. The skyscrapers around us, as well as the short distances between stations, indicate that we have made it to downtown Minneapolis. Most people did not stick around to Target Field Station, and honestly, that was fine by me. The passengers immediately behind me were having a very explicit conversation, and somewhere in the back there was an increasingly heated altercation that I'm not sure if it turned physical or not. And please listen to me when I say that I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, I am not denying the impact that certain systemic issues have had on people as well as mental health, but I do think that it's possible to have compassion for my neighbors and also expect a certain level of respect 
towards other passengers. It takes a lot to make me uncomfortable. After all, I commute with the Chicago Blue Line every day, but I believe that public transportation should be for everybody, and if people feel unsafe or uncomfortable on a vehicle, then it cannot meet its goal. Anyway, many sermon over, we've made it to Target Field Station, end of the Blue Line. At Target Field Station, which is named after the nearby baseball stadium, you can transfer to the North Star Commuter Rail Service, a train that I will be releasing a video report on very soon. So this is Target Field Station, terminus of the blue and the green lines. All in all, that was a quick trip from the airport to downtown Minneapolis. Um, there's a lot of stations, but the trains accelerate and brake fast, so it went pretty fast. Um, in terms of fellow passengers, there's a group of guys behind me having the most vulgar conversation I've ever heard in my life. Crap. Um, and farther in the back, there were women fighting. So if, say, you're from Portland and you come to Minneapolis, pretty much the same thing as home. So uh, might as well stick to your Portland system. If you're not from Portland or haven't been on the Portland system, definitely check out the Minneapolis-St. Paul light rail. I think I'm gonna take a train into the city just a little bit. Metro Light Rail has three generations of light rail vehicles, and lucky for me, I got a second generation train, which is a Siemens S70 model. Oh yeah, these are a lot nicer. This is a blue line train to Mall of America. The biggest change was that the map above the doors looks totally different. Like seriously, compare these two next to each other. Another difference, I think somebody at Siemens had their keyboard stuck on caps lock when they were programming the scrolling LED signs. It's crazy how almost nothing between the two trains is the same. I'll give you one more example, this time from the exterior of the trains. Well, here in a rainy 
Minneapolis is where I'm going to bid you all farewell. Um, it's, it's fun to, after five years, finally be able to ride the Metro Blue Line here in Minneapolis. I made a video about it five years ago. No, I finally got to ride it. There, it's nothing special. It's, it's American Light Rail. It's um, glad it exists. We'll definitely come and ride it again. Now remember, Trains Are Awesome is the place to be for transit-related content as well as longer distance train trip reports. So if you haven't already, subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. It means a lot to me, and uh, we'll see you next time.